All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now I have voice. Sound like Kermit the Frog today. Ribbit. So I have a sinus cold. So, what we're trying to do today is talk about how do we get all our sprites to move. Well, it's pretty simple. Because somebody worked smarter, not harder here. And what they did is they put all of their sprites into an array list. So, if you go right here, okay, you're going to notice that all the sprites are in here. I did. Throw a party. I have two hundred subscribers. When we have two million, we'll have a party. So, um, what we want to do is go to this list here, and we can go to the morph button, and we can add more items to this list, okay? And if we were smart, we would go back and look to see how many flowers we have, okay? So, um, what I'm going to try to do here is just kind of put all these in order. Um, kind of, you know, set them up. And there's blue. There's red. So here's blue two. And here's blue three. And then here's red one. Here's red three. Okay. So if I want these other sprites to move, right? Here's yellow one. Let's go see if there's a blue four. So if I go down in here, is there a blue four? No, there's only three blues, okay. So let's go see if there's any more yellows. So is there a yellow three? Yeah, so before, that yellow three was not moving. Are you with me? Because the yellow three was not in this list. So as soon as I put this in this list, now yellow three is going to start moving. Okay. Let's go see if there's a yellow four. Is there a yellow four in here? Where? No. I don't see a yellow four. So. All right. So we don't need that guy. What about red one? What about red 2? Is there a red 2? Yeah. So red 2 was obviously not moving before either because it wasn't in the list. Are you guys with me on that? So whatever you add to this list, you're going to start to move. Okay. Does that make sense? If it's not in this list, it's not going to move. B1, B2, B3, B... So, here's your Bs, right? B1, B2. And what they're doing here is they're just saying, hey, I want the Bs to move more often. So, the more Bs I put in here, the more, the more times that will come, the Bs will fall down the screen. So, let's just do this in this video. If you wanted to add more Bs, right? You want the Bs to fall more often... You just go ahead and duplicate this, and now B1 and B2 are going to fall more often, all right? Okay. Now, you got to remember that the bees are losing lives, and the flowers are giving you points. Are you guys with me on this? Okay. So, this is simply, whatever you add to this array list here, and by the way, both of these are moving, right? That's why if you go over here to clock animate timer, for each sprite in the list, this is a for loop, for each sprite in the list of all global sprites, and you can see down here, we added these to all global like sprites. We copied the list of the flowers and added it to the global sprites, and then we appended... Um, 
all global sprites and added to it the bees. So all of these are going to move the same. If you want to move in differently, then you're going to have to write different animate timer statements. Okay. And then you can see down here that we're at, we have an image sprite move to. And you guys got to go find that image sprite move to. See where it is. Uh, let me find image sprite move to. There it is. It won't work. You got to get it to work, man. So let's go look at image sprite move to. I don't see it yet. Yeah, here it is. So that's. And then it's going to call these right in here. Okay. Get the image sprite X. Get the sprite. It's getting that sprite out of the list. And then it's moving its X and Y coordinates. Okay. So that's how you get your sprites to.